This is supposed to be like... I was supposed to be the run when we come back, but I lied. This is it right here. Waste crack and all. Alright, so the thing about Discovery Nightmare is like, okay. I guess I need to set up on Catalyst, but set up was in the discard. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to handle that. Beam Soul Sunder, do we just do it? No hypers. People have spoken, they do not want hypers. I mean, yeah. I, th I think resting was the play ultimately though, right? Like resting felt like it was the play. Or was it? Yeah, I needed to rest. Yeah. It's not a bad strat here, though. That's not a bad start, my friends. Who's the boss? I didn't even check. Man, right, we got this. All right, let's go. All my blocks in the discard. This is, good, this is a good play to armor, I think. Weakest boss? Yeah, sure. There's definitely weak bosses. It depends. It really depends on the character and the toxic egg that you get early. It really depends. So if you get toxic egg early, you don't give a damn about anything. Now, it's not a free win. It's like a buffer. Do I like Melter here? There are times where Ironclad struggles with Guardian. There are times where Ironclad excels the Guardian. There are times where Hexagos. So Hexagos is technically. Testicle. I just said. Oh my god. I said Testicles. Texagos. Almost a testicle. Uh, I meant to say Hexagos is technically strong in terms of like, on average, it's harder to kill. <laughs> but then I mixed technically in there and then tech. Okay. Well, that's good to know that it happens. Yeah, I think Hexagos sometimes is pretty hard. Slime boss. Again, on average, it feels pretty hard for certain classes, but it depends on the deck. Like, so the Watcher can like handle the slime boss pretty easily. Text a ghost. Testicles. This is a uh, melter, though. Is our damage simply going to be sweeping beam and thunder here? Texas toast. Texaco. Cool, man. Thank you, Remaku. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome, you wanderer. You little sneaky vagabond, you. I like Claw there, actually. I did like Claw there. Sunder, watch. Ready? That's how we do it in the Spire. Recycle Plus. Snap it. Alright. I'll do this. All right, that should be a good fight, right? Brexit votes. <laughs> I don't need buffer for this, right? Oh, I can get rid of reinforced body. What if we just get rid of buffer and do strike reinforced? The buffer could be blocked for next turn, right? How do I do this? I 
That was weird. Well, that was a great draw. Not bad. Hey, man. Not bad. On a scale from 1 to 10, that was not bad. I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna take a walk. I think I might have... I need water. Alright. Alright, cool. Yo, guys, we got a reinforced body, caliper, socks, good. Hell yeah. Got a leap too. Alright. I don't want to lose this. Um, do I like a leap plus here? I mean, it's not bad, right? Or do I want to send this review here? Recursion is not that great here. Is that pretty buffer for Act 2? Is that just a speed pot here? Nah. We saved that bad boy. Hmm. I can just use buffer now. Is this a good time to do buffer? Yo, thank you. Leg a lick. Buffer is probably okay here, right? Or do I think I can do it later on? Nah, eh, buffer doesn't save that much, actually. Ooh. Okay, so ready? ready to no, I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. The Sunder offense. Got that right potion there. I don't get calipers for doing this, right? I hope our offense is quick enough. I'm a little bit worried that it's not. So this is this is tough. This is really tough. Because I want to get rid of burns because I think the fight's going long. But I also want to do calipers for next turn. So if it's just it's just an energy pot turn. Like Sundra, I don't know, it's tough. It's really tough. I want Burns of the Cycle, that's for sure. I, I like the damage here, but I also want to think about Calipers, because next turn is really rough. Next turn is 9 times 2. Next turn is 9 times 2. And Calipers wouldn't even be that much. It would only be uh, 3 block left over. Is this energy pot for Sundra here? Are we pushing for damage? Is that is that is that how we win this? Energy pot here? Or do we want energy pot for like when we want to block? That's decent damage. That's like a fire pot worth of damage. You know what I mean? Here we go boys. We're getting rid of the burns, that's nice. What's not nice is that next round I need this block and I got it now. Yikes. So what if I had the speed pot here? For calipers. Potions, just using them all. Not bad. I gotta get rid of these things. I also gotta get I gotta get rid of buffer. We're pushing damage though, big time. How much does this left leave over? 36? 36 plus uh, 50. Minus 2, 38, 38. Okay, so we have 12. That's not enough. Maybe we can get some lethal though. Don't kill me, please. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. Lethal's soon to come. Boom. Alright, we have buffer plus for act two. And we have no potions, but that's whatever. So fission plus versus core search. Well No. 
I like this card on average. I don't have that many orbs, though. Core Shirt is pretty good, though. I had to use two potions, though. We're alive. That's what matters. Core Shirt is pretty good. Artifacts for Chosen, right? Artifact for the Chosen. We have a very skill-heavy deck, so Chosen is going to hurt us sometimes. Then we also get Bias Cog as an out. Fission is just a generally strong card, and having energy from Fission helps with Sunder stuff. Like, I think right now... Sunder lethal is really important, right? So if we like get energy for Sunder with Beam Saw Sunder, that's like a really important way for us to kill things. But the only problem is that we have one orb. We literally have one orb generator. You know? And that's a little Monka S. Now Fission has a high ceiling, and we can probably find orb generations in Act 2, right? So probably on average is a better ceiling as the but the ceiling is not as... Of course, it has a high ceiling as well, but I mean, like... If we find some orb generation, this is quite nice. But I don't have that currently. So maybe I should pick proactive and take this. Alright, yeah. If we just get, like, a single ball lightning, a single glacier, a single pole snap. Any any other frost or any just orb generation in general, and I'm like, I'm snapping this. And it just... It does a really good tempo for, like, Sunder things, right? With Recycle as well. Reinforced Body. I mean, I can get big calipers out of it. The more I talk about it, the more I think Fission is so good. Because... Card draw plus energy equals big calibers equals big sunder. So the proactive plays do this because it's just front loaded artifact and I don't really have a lot of orbs, but like the hopeful Jeremy is like, eh, I think this might be really strong in Act 2 just with one other card. I don't know, man. I like this. We're gonna clear mid run. All right, this is this is what makes people go to the heart versus die to the heart. All right, it's this choice right here. This is a goddamn hard choice. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just running pyramid always. But like, you can get energy for Act Two, and we have recycled and managed curses, or we can take the pyramid, which is just much more solid late game. And we have things like Recycle for Pyramid, we can hold on to Reinforce Body, we can hold on to Fission, we can hold on to Sunder. Yeah, cool. Alright, we're going to get Sweeping Beam. I think we should, not a Hyper Beam, but I think we got this. I want to see a shop here. I want to do two Elites as well. Do I want to go to Events? Because if we get Apparitions, do we just win? So if we practice Events, we have Toxic like Apparitions with Pyramid. That's like a winning play, but the path is pretty brutal. To go for events. Over here we get no events. Okay, wait. We can go this way. This way goes events, events. And then we can get two late elites. Which is not bad. This is a little bit earlier elites. Get three campfires. This is one less campfire. But you get an extra event and we get later elites. You know what I mean? I can go three elites. What about three elites? Is that crazy? How does this deck handle these elites? Sunder's pretty good for slavers. Buffer's pretty good for slavers. Sweeping Beam Sunder's pretty good for Gremlin Leader. Book of Stabbing's the hardest right now. I'm scared of Book of Stabbing. Book of Stabbing is just like big beefy health, a lot of damage output. I don't got ways to mitigate that that much. Um, so yeah, slavers, Gremlin Leader, I feel much better about. Book of Stabbing's probably kick my ass. Let's hit a shop first. Move decision after that. Get we buffer out of the way or do we sunder now? Wait for, we, we wait for beam self for sunder, right? What if we just draw now? Because we don't want to play skills after the fact. Alright, cool. Beam self sunder, there it is. Hey, we're fucking geniuses. Oh, we have lethal. Hey, easiest fight of my life. Okay, fusion for energy. Hologram for Pyramid. Hologram brings Recycle back. So you gotta think about the crazy things here. Which is not that crazy. Hologram brings Recycle back to recycle other things to manage your hand, to play more cards, to do more things. Fusion just gives me energy. Plus I also have Fission. I'm doing it. Melter. We're looking for Melter here. Alright, let's do Sunder shut up or look for Melter. What do we do? Calipers? Sunder, look for Melter. What do we do? God, there's so many options. If Melter comes, it'll be great. 
Fuck, I'll do this. We're rolling it. So now I don't like, now I don't mind the book of stabbing so much. Don't mind it that much. A uh, stack is pretty good, pyramid, right? Stack plus? Sounds good. Clock or souvenir. It doesn't seem like much now, but the ceiling of this is astronomical. Card draw, we can move the burns. I like ball letting. I want to move a strike though. I want to move a strike here. Do I take ball letting or just remove a strike and carry on? Let me see. We're, our offense is pretty bad right now. Do I take this? I don't know. I, maybe a hold on. I, I have time to get my offense going. Recursion for Plasma, I mean, Recursion on Sale. Recursion for Plasma could be interesting. I need Frost, yeah. Oh, actually, my blockage is really good right now. I need damage. Volley need to good for Testicle Boss? Yes. Volley is te te uh, technically pretty good for Testicle Boss. Unfortunately, we already slayed the Testicle. And now we're looking at the big Phallus. And the Phallus is a different beast altogether, right? So when you're approaching the Phallus as an Act 2 boss, um, there's like a really big hyper beam, so to speak. And I think we're, we're okay for that, but no damage is rough. We need damage. Oh, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel good about the, the boss. Um, okay, real quick. Recursion. Maybe. Maybe recursion. No. Alright, so now do three elites or do we do uh, two elites? Now we gotta make a choice. Three elites, two elites. This gives you more cards for Toxic Egg. Three elites? Uh, let's go for three elites. Let's do it. Oh, I'm gonna wait for Beam Cell here. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll wait for him, so. Stack is becoming big. That's why you wait for Beamso, boys. Seeing life, people are like, just play it. Nope. Patience is a virtue. I want to save Buffer here. How? We save stack. That's the big burn place. Save stack. Get energy here. We can start recycling some of this crap, right? We don't need this. Stack's gonna be bad. What, why don't we just play it for calipers too late? Wait, what if we just do fission now? Calipers. That's an option. Calipers. Buffer as well. Okay. We're absolutely killing it right now. We're absolutely killing it. Call it him. Wow, this run's amazing. Our damage is rough, yeah. Our damage is rough, but our everything else is great. This is like... I'm in a marathon, and my stamina is fantastic. 
but I whoa, I'm like running a foot per minute, so to speak. So having a lot of stamina doesn't mean much if I'm never going to make it to the finish line. It's a really bad analogy. I regret using that analogy. Let's move on. So we can do a hologram. I like it a lot here. This is what I'm talking about. I move a foot per minute. These guys move a foot per second. Terrifying. Sunder, where are you? So hologram's gonna be great for Sunder once we get Sunder. Uh, keyword, we're Sunder. This might be a black pot, believe it or not. I need to save the hologram, so it's block pot time. Hmm. I need fish and thunder, and I win this fight. That's all I need is fish and thunder, and I win this fight. Well, change of plans. Maybe I shouldn't have seen me last turn. Maybe, huh? What does she even be now? Alright, game over. We win. <sighs> For all my hoopla dupla, god damn, that was clean. Wow, that was clean. Alright, charge, but I have so much block. I like ball lane because I want to channel more orbs. I also like FTL because it's just more damage. It says damage. It says do damage and do something else. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. But, you know, let me think here. Ball lightning is still really good. Especially if you move one more strike. FTL is also like, hey, I do some damage to help you get better sunders. And I also draw a card. So th th that's not bad. Th think of Axe Kick. Remember Axe Kick, guys? Axe Kick was like, hey, I want to do damage and then dictate where Dark's going to go. I'm a genius card. FTL is sort of like that in the sense that it's like, I'm going to help you get the sunder I don't know that's how I think about it at least I like it but ball is really good yeah let's do it that's a turn okay Jesus Christ the doorbell Alright, this might be a draw putt. It's a tough fight. We just need Sunder. This might be a draw putt, right? I think it might be a, a thrown putt as well to make them do more damage to get Sunder range. I can leap hollow leap, and that's uh, 27 block. Problem with that is hologram is really important for Sunder and other things. Thanks for the pizza, Kilgore. Appreciate it. I think we have the draw pot here. This is a turn suddenly. Wow, wow, we wow. The best draw pot I could have asked for. In fact, the best cards I could have asked for. That's amazing. Holy shit. Literally the best cards I could have asked for. Okay. Well, now things change. I want to get Sunder back, but let me think. Sun Hollywood's in the port for Sunder to end this fight, so this might be a. This might be buffer fusion strike. 
Cause I need to save. I need I need to this guy, this guy for some because the wounds are gonna be become a problem. I might just do I might kill this guy first. I don't know. I think it's just buffer fusion strike. It's not the best use of buffer, but clearing hand here, getting energy is important. And there it is, boys. And there she is. All she wrote, baby. That's all she wrote. And just like that, as long as I don't die to wounds, we're good. As long as we don't die to wounds, we are good. Good luck breaking through that, baby. Got him. Perfect fight. Guys, I just want to point out, I'm three energy defects. Yeah, buddy. I want some frost here. But Turbo is insane. Turbo, okay, maybe Turbo is like a little bit too much now because we have we have Recycle and Fusion. We have Recycle, recycle Fusion and Fission as well. So Turbo is a little bit less good. But Turbo Reinforced Body though, Hmm. Cold step seems really nice here, though. But turbo with pyramid is really nice because you can. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The thing about turbo is that, like you have pyramids, you can use it whenever you want. You can have big turns. You can do for big reinforced body. Like it obviously has a place. It might be. It might be the play. Whereas cold step just gives me some frost, which is not that good at the moment. I don't have focus. I'm more like a. I'm more of like a reinforced body leap kind of deck in terms of block. It might, it might just be trouble here. Hmm. I think holding. I think having Sunder first is really important, right? Uh oh. First damage I've taken in a long time. Alrighty. I like that mill ticket. All right, can we do two leads with this much life? Upgrade this for energy purposes, makes vision better. Do we rush for two elites? Or do we want to go to shop here for mill ticket? I think we got this. I mean, Book of Seven is the hardest, though. Let's see. There it is. There she blows. There it is. Oh my god, what the fuck? About time. It's about goddamn time. Looks beautiful. That's gorgeous. Is that German? Mm -hmm. German made it the best. Don't tell anybody though. I've got a lot of German in my family. But don't tell anybody that either. German engineering superior. <laughs> what is that? Holy shit, they're gonna have a field day. Let's fight could have been so much better. I took way too much damage. Oh, the region bot helps a lot. That's really good too. Go for the edge is really good. Having weakened and pyramid is really good. I have so many zero cost cards though. This could be an interesting card draw. I don't know if I card draw could be useful, right? Because I have things like I want to draw into turbo, I want to draw into recycle, I want to draw into fusion and fission. So maybe cards are sometimes good, but this is also very good as well. 
I think we go for the, the heal here. Uh, unless we just want to go to another elite and use re region pot. What do you guys think? This could be apparitions. Hmm. So th the problem with this special relic, guys, is it gives me three strength. And that's actually bad. Is it not? But if I change some two cards, I have Toxic Egg. And that's actually good. Is it not? Does that make sense here? You need to strength, takes that immediately. Eh, I don't really want that. I want it maybe sometimes for the Vulnerable on the Heart, or maybe for Bice Cog. So we do this. And get that. Chemical X. Do we snap it? Do we snap it? Panacea, do we snap it? Oh my god, I'm... I'm getting excited. That's a defrag as well. Holy, this is a shop. Holy, this is a shop. So many options, so little money. Chemical X and just cool headed here. I want defrag, but like, I'm telling you, I have, I have reinforced body calipers. We snap it, right? Alright, I'm sorry, defrag. I would have loved you. Last, this is why we don't take mutagenic strength. This is why. This is why, guys. Good fight. See you, smile later. The problem with that fight, guys, was I have no meta scaling, right? I don't have like genetic algorithms or like self repairs to play. I just, I just end the fight and that's it. You know, there's no, there's no relics to think about. That's a, that's a good thing. It's also a bad thing sometimes. Um, good thing in the sense that I don't have to waste time. Bad thing is that I'm not really getting stronger in that fight, except for cards, I guess, getting gold or whatever. Um, Sunder number two is not necessary here. But do we, do we find take a weekend? Because it's just good to have a weekend. It's just good to have a weekend. Does that make my deck a little cl convoluted, a little cl uh, clouded? I think move this last strike. We could we can could save our ash. But are we gonna get rid of the artifact here? We never, we never rest here, right? We never rest. What if we actually upgrade the weaken? Or we dual cast, maybe. We never rest, right? Save Sunder for the minions. Let's see what we draw. I'm going to use Region Pot here. Because why not, right? Unless I think I can do without it. Getting buffer out of the way is bad because I, I want to guarantee it for the hyper beam. If I get it out of the way and somehow I can't save it, well, you know the rest of the story there. A lot of tears, a lot of crying. Bad things happen. Like also doing static charge early could be bad as well, but you might as well get it out just for purpose of you know energy. Well. I'm scared I might lose dark, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna end turn. Beam so Sunder is here. All right, how much damage do I need? Beam so is gonna be 48, 52. I need four damage. So I recycle a defend. What if I dual cast first? Recycle compile. Nope. Do I recycle rebound? Rebound beams under clear artifacts. I'm more concerned about killing the minions here. I want to compile it as well. First and foremost, I want to do this. Actually, I want to kill this guy because I might not be able to block that much. I should have been mindful of the 
I should have been mindful of the card draw. I didn't play that properly. I need a block here. Well, taking damage is not that big of a deal. I should have done this first. I, I, that was a strict, strict misplay. That was a strict misplay there. I call it just a flat misplay in the business. I can lose one buff. Nope. I'm gonna lose this anyway, so I'll do this. This guy can die. If he does, then I have calipers here. Do I place for zero anyways? For calipers? Or do I hold into my hand? Yeah, I think we do calipers there. And now we have a nice block. And I think we win now. I think we do fission, we do fusion. We do I think we do fission now. Well, I want a hologram, right? So we want a hologram, things like this. I also start getting. I like this a lot. So we get a big stack. So here's what we're gonna do. Alright, good game, boys. Smell you guys later. Just in case I got this bad boy. I don't go for damage. I, I don't have dark orb anymore, so I gotta be mindful of that. Say beam saw here. Clean. 
We call that clean in the business. Super clean. Rainbow here? <clears throat> Rainbow makes this a little bit awkward, right? Rainbow makes a lot of things awkward. It makes fusion a little bit awkward. It makes the symbiotic virus kind of awkward. Machine learning means we can draw more cards, which means we can play more zero cost cards. So machine learning means, yeah, pyramid is awkward, but drawing more cards means we can play beam cell, recycle, go for the eyes, turbo, reinforce body more often. So maybe drawing more cards a turn is actually okay to balance out the fact that I took all these zero cost stuff. Second buffer, I mean, this could be useful, but also, I mean, worst case scenario, I can recycle it. Maybe a second buffer is fine. I think I like this for damage purposes. In some backwards way, it helps me do more damage with cycling more. And it's kind of weird. Buffer number two. I like machine learning for the zero cost cards that I have, though, to be honest. One thing I don't like is that I have some low value cards sometimes. Like beam cell zap and stuff are like low value, but if you draw an extra card a turn, then it doesn't feel as bad. You know? <sighs> Inserter, is this our scaling? Are we saying we don't care about energy anymore? We have other ways to get energy. We want inserter for scaling. We don't have to consume, but that could be our... The last time I took in Sugar Consume... I mean, I, I, I tend to enjoy it. What's up, First Dane? We don't have a lot of Frost at all. We have one Cold Snap. Alright, so that makes it... I feel like I'm not gonna really... Utilize the Orb Generation. This might be a Sozu. It might be a Sozu here. I can, I can save the region pot. I can just use it. We have also sustain here. Energy helps in general here. I'm worried about our, our lack of scaling. Like, it sort of could be our scaling. But we don't really have anything to say it's going to be good here. Uh, see, how many leads can we do here? feel okay about Reptile Manser. feel okay about it. Just okay. What about events here? What events are we looking for? What about three elites? That's kind of crazy. Hitting stores is good upgrades, right? I mean, good uh, healing, right? So we should probably think about that. Do we go here just for the healing? Or we do only do one, get them a nice free heal, and then go for two elites? I like that path. You guys ready for next turn? Check this out. What is the sword book relic? Um, this is a uh, get a free power. That's a return. Steam Barrier sometimes. Do we like Steam Barrier here with uh, Runic Pyramid and Machine Learning? You get this from the same event that gives you Necronomic Curse or Necronomicon. It's the same event. There's three books. No Rise, Enchilada Burrito, and Necronomicon. Uh, tempting. Is that worth the gold? I think it's just not worth. Just not worth. Tempting, but... Ultimately, I'm going to say no. I do like having the ability to have a good first turn. Oh, I said no. Rebound Sunder, and then we do... Um, I can't even do that. Never mind. Do we just hold on to Sunder here and do this? Maybe we just rebound that. It's probably smarter.
Have you ever supposed to rebound Sunder now? Or like five years ago? Check this out. This is disgusting. Well, I guess it didn't matter, but if it. Whoa! Is that our damage? So more frost is good. I like cool headed for frost and card draw. It's not bad. But darkness could be our damage. That's tough because more frost means. All we need to find now is maybe some focus and we're set. But maybe we just have block with reinforced body. Maybe our block is set. Maybe we don't need to go frost route. We don't really have focus. Darkness could be our damage. But I think our damage is also kind of... I would like to frost. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know what direction I'm supposed to go here. It also helps with symbiotic virus. It, it, it triggers it up. Which could be good damage. I like this. What do we take Madness? With toxic egg. It just clogs my deck too much. You're almost there, Smithers. You're almost there. And I get to heal up at the shop anyways, right? But I think the manager just curses. In the arms of an angel I will fly oh. okay I'm sad shed five tears shed five tears for the five gold missing it might just be frozen eye but frozen eye doesn't like okay it's <sighs> alright where did I miss five gold what did I do wrong <laughs> That's what I, I feel like this is punishment did I miss five gold somewhere it's just probably just remove a strike here honestly like, Frozen is cool. But moving strike is better. Alright, do we do elites from now? I mean, I think sure, yeah. Oh! Okay. Cool. I want to save hologram. But I also want to spend my energy. Maybe saving hologram is just smarter. Probably just a lot smarter. Do we have the damage for this fight? I worry that we don't. A hologram makes me more frost as well. I don't know if we have the damage for this fight. But I might die here. I want the weekend, but I need a card draw. And I need a dual cast for Dark Orb to make it better, so... Uh, I just have to hold on. I have to nurse Dark Orb, right? But then the Fission exists, so how do we nurse Dark Orb in this situation? Maybe we can't nurse Dark Orb, or... Maybe we just go for like Fission, Sunder, Reinforced Body stuff? I have this Dark Orb to nurse. I can rebound stack here. Is that cool? I want to play this and try to draw back into it in the cycle.
Go Frost instead. We don't have to no struggle. We can go Frost instead. I could do that instead. I don't mind. Right, I can probably outskill him, maybe, sometimes. If I don't do dark over then I'm not doing damage, right? I really want to do reinforce body here. Are we supposed to get a sunder off here? Or are we supposed to just like full calipers and get darkness? Now I'm curious. I wonder if we should push that damage there. But yeah, I think we should push the damage there. That buffer as insurance. Maybe I should wait for beam cell though. That was probably smarter. Probably a lot smarter. Like in terms of smartness, that was probably like way up there. Most likely. Ah, oh, what's up, buddy? All right, we have buffer still. Still exist. Buffer is actually, I mean, I have a lot of energy and nothing to do with it. I'm pretty sure lethal now. We're, we're Sunder, we win the game. We push Sunder lethal here. That feels bad. You know, okay, I mean, I didn't lose fight, I didn't lose damage in that fight, but like, you know, Torianthopter, eh, it doesn't feel that good. Alright, Sweeping Beam Claw. Nope. Maybe another Sweeping Beam for Repromancer. What about another Leap? Is Leap really good here? Are we, are we low on block? Is Leap Sleeper good here? Probably. Just get a little bit extra block. I feel like we ran a little we ran out of block just a little bit. I mean I would like upgrading this, honestly. I would like it. Do I recall now? Instead. I think it's a good upgrade. But my my, uh, my opinion also contains Sunder. So, my, my opening hands are pretty bad. I could fission now and have a better turn, or I could just save it. Don't you hate when you have to, like, not use your energy in turn one? It feels bad, right? But it's probably smarter to save fission. Or is it? We've like got double darkness here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I practice caliper too much. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing too many caliper things. That could be a thing. What I'm doing. I mean, I am fail right now. I'm 
Maybe I don't need a drug up here. Yeah, sounds great. These types are weird. That's a yes. What's up, video game? It's going pretty good, man. Just chilling, playing a slow deck. Killing things, but rather slowly. You want to redeem heavy blades, Naven? I don't know what to tell you. I might have to redeem a doctor checkup for you. You think that we program was a sleeper scaling? Was we program our sleeper scaling? Forget, forget focus, dexterity, reinforced body all the way. Was that the scaling we needed? I doubt it. Maybe, you know, maybe. I want to recall. And then what else do we want to upgrade? Is recall. Oh, I'm at the rest of this. I'm doing it. Wait, are we fast enough? Oh, but this is where we all lose it. This is where it all goes down. This is the death of us, isn't it? And we have buffer. We've got sunders. We've got good block, got buffer. We got fission for big turns. And we got buffer. And we got two reinforced bodies and we got buffer. The Ray Relic could be great. You know, we can get a uh, gambling chip, a reinf uh, incense burner, a bird face urn, a shovel. Please don't. Oh, let me think. We have Beamstow Sunder. Sunder's opening hand, so we always have Sunder in our opening hand. I think we can do this. We also have Symbiotic Virus. Do we do beam cell rebound sunder and kill this guy next turn and take the hit? We just take that big hit to the face. We have we give a, a free rest basically. It's worth it. Probably should be winnable now. Said the opti optimistic man from the corner. I should be winnable now. Dual cast is lethal as soon as we hit it, so we just like, buffer and dual cast. Literally wait for the cast and win. Not sure if worth. Now we're getting offered reprogram. Yet again. Guys, look, look. You may not have seen it. It gives you one strength and one dexterity for playing it.
Did you guys read that card? 1-1 one, one for losing 1. I can't. I can't do it. Another ball lightning for damage. No, we just want to stay with Dark Orbs now. Can we work some best? Alright. Uh, no. But uh, do we... Do we do an elite here? Dryad is fine. This is fine as well. I said this was fine. I might have been lying. The wounds are not fine. Wait, I think we gotta focus on cleaning up to mention the wounds are not fine in this fight. The wounds are not fine in this fight. On the bright side though, we do have, um, Stone Condor. The wounds just suck in this fight, of course. Valito because I need to push Valito. Not bad. Do we need White Eyes to save us? Yeah, 
You've heard a lot of okay, long time, take a break, viewer here. I started working on a custom character, the thief, and had no one to really share it with. So how would you feel about a character that can steal everything, gold card offerings, relics from an enemies, and then tries to escape while also going stealth, ignore debuffs, and any damage? I like it. I'm curious to try it. Let me know when it comes out and I'll try it out. Sounds fun. I've always wanted to be a thief. Do we need white noise here? We need like a bias cog, we need a uh, echo form, we need something big. We don't rest here because we have region power, do we just rest because what are our upgrades do we have? Let me see. We can upgrade dual casts. Maybe damage, we can go for cold snap. We're always playing cold snap, right? So cold snap does increase your damage. But resting... Means we can hold on to region for another time. The upgrades that I have are not like game breaking. Also, we had a defrag we could have bought, we never got that, right? What if I just upgraded defend actually? No, because we always wanted to reinforce body relief instead. In fact, re defends are, are recycle fodder. Alright, I have no worries, man. Just let me know when it's done. I'll try that out. Balance is really important. You can have a great concept as a mod. The mod can be an amazing concept, genius. Balance is super important. So it requires a lot of playtesting, a lot of tweaking. In the past, I played a lot of mods that were like cool designs, just you know, not balanced. And if it's not balanced, the gameplay gets stale. I wonder if I'm supposed to upgrade for Act Four there. So you know what's big brain? We we let this scale up to one energy and recycle it then. Huge. How do we win this fight? I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slap down in my chair. This is my relaxed stance, so we're gonna figure this out here. Am I supposed to do turbo hologram reinforced body or am I supposed to leave hologram for reinforced body? I think I want to clear my hand space, right? So doing turbo hologram reinforced body clears my hand space. But I could also just hologram the other reinforced body. I think this is Mercer back up for here for this fight. If I double turbo for big calipers, is that ever worth it? There's a huge calipers. That ever more important than what I'm doing right here? Three cards next turn. Three cards. One. Two. Three. Maybe stack was premature. Stack was premature there. But also not drawing enough. We're not drawing enough cards. I'm trying to nurse Tarko, but I wonder if that's even the play. We do have Stone Condor, so I think about that. Maybe our nurse Tarko up here, though. I think cycling my deck is pretty important. Change things. Am I supposed to a buffer charge now? Do I wait for buffer with echo form? Echo form buffer? Um, 
we echo from buffer, we are um, only keeping one buffer after this. I wonder if that's even worth it. I mean, but also, we're probably not gonna take damage now that echo forms out. So echo from buffer just like procs them. We save one buffer. We're probably not taking damage after the fact, right? Seems okay. I have trouble thinking we're going to take damage after this. I just want to nurse Jacob, I guess. Yeah, you're fine, Yomi. You're fine. If we're worried about calibers and Darko stays there, we probably just win, right? That makes sense. Even though I only draw one card a turn. Maybe drawing more cards a turn is probably more important. So, dual cast is 120. Sunder is going to be. I'm going to do Sunder twice. 64, 64 plus 120. We're getting, we're getting kind of there. I, I want to free my hand up, though. I don't know, I feel like putting my hand up may, may, may be more important than Dark Orb. Maybe, maybe we're just getting impatient here. Oh. I mean, we're still gonna hold on to Dark Orb, but. Uh, no. Card draw return is rough. So that does 144. Plus 16. And then next time we can do center twice. 64. 160, 64, 200, and then uh, it's, not, it's not quite there. The problem is we have nothing to play. Yeah, I don't know. I should free up my hand, I think. We were getting close, I don't know. We were just getting close to winning here. Almost there, right? We're running out of time because of. So soon we'll be able to do this, right? Soon we gotta pop off. 180 next turn, 180 plus. 16 196 196 plus like all of this stuff I think we can go the distance with that night Do you wait one more turn? One ninety two plus sixteen, I think we're about to get lethal soon, right? We gotta be careful for, for Melter here. I guess that works out, I don't know. That was a weird way to do it, but I guess it just works.
I don't know what big machine learning here. Key frag I'm not sure about either. Blasting Thief is the following. Rival block but nothing high quality is front loaded damage. It we at cost can do some strain ceiling, has very little draw for the game scaling. Lots of gold, stolen abilities. It all sounds interesting. Yeah, the conceptually it sounds interesting. I, I want to see it in practice. Machine learning good here. As like that, that means I have to play a lot of cards though. If I do machine learning, I have to play a lot of my cards. Machine learning does something get into reinforced bodies and stuff. Yeah, I'll, I think that one's fine. Key frag, I'm not so sure about. At least not yet. Want to draw first before vision? Maybe. Maybe one. Maybe one. I gotta play cards though. I, I gotta start recycling these defense like ASAP. Number one priority, I think. Listen, when, I, when I recycle the defense, I think the deck becomes much better. I'll notice a dark orb for this. And a fusion. The, the, my deck being this clog is kind of bad looking forward into the next axe. But for another axe, I can play white noise though. I apply, apply a pretty deep frag, right? So for like other fights, I'm playing defrag, I'm playing white noise. My deck's not gonna be as clogged for those fights. It just looks bad because of. I'm, I'm punished from playing powers, so I, I'm more clogged in this fight. I wanna keep recycling though. I don't want to take damage here. But I guess you want to draw to bring for his body, right? Does that even do it? I just want to draw I want also want to draw into um go for the eyes. Powers, huh? Uh, I don't know. Well, these are already pretty really tragic. I don't want to do that. Fuck. I want to hologram the void. That's my bad. That was not my intention. I want to draw through my deck, that's why. I messed that up. The two boys might mess me up here. At that point, I have to go all in for card draw. I look for, look for a weekend here, right? First phase is done, defrag and buffers out, and then run the fight's a lot, a lot more easier. I want to finish this fight with Sunder. I want to keep weakening for the next phase. I want to finish this fight with Sunder because then I can play buffer and defrag, and then the, I think the next next phase is really easy. I would like to get a nice cal calipers buff. Actually, I, I'm gonna go for another cycle here. I'm gonna do this. 
I, I want to check a caliper stack, but it's like it seems hard to catch up here. Alright, I'm just doing the motions. It's just doing the motions with this deck. That's how this deck feels, just doing the motions. It's a weird little thing. Should have played stack there first. You bring up hand space more important than anything. So I, I, I valued bring up hand space there than void. Stack for the next phase. This is a long guys. This is 20 turns. Long guys fight. All right. Let's see what Act Four's do for us. Buffer was so useful. What happens to the Harper playing cards and Dark Orbs? Uh, that's a start. I wonder if we need to make this for energy purposes. Does it help at all? Yeah, it does. I like it. So, we could do. Do another frost draw pool headed for more card draw, but it's a little weird because we have master strategy in the deck. We can do mas not master strategy, we have uh, machine learning. We can do master strategy just to get card draw, but I wonder if we're moving a card here is better. I think we're gonna want to cycle a lot, right? So, what if we move defend? I like potions though. These potions, oh, Sozu. Okay, what if we do Orrery and Orrery look for like more reinforced bodies? Is it better than remove? I mean, my deck's pretty good at the moment. I have two reinforced bodies. Those are my best blocks. I could just like remove a defense and then have the deck be like. So look at this, guys. When we play fission, when we play buffer, when we play the powers. Wait, something smells like it's burning. L. Oh, some something smells like it's burning. No, the reason why the deck felt slower in that fight was because. We could we didn't play our powers, so our deck our hand was clogged. Um, the house is on fire. What happens is she's making a stuffed crust pizza, so I, we had to MacGyver some solution to put foil because the crust was like drooping in. Because you know you put pizza on the oven rack, 
well, the, the crust was so heavy it was drooping down the rack and it was like some of the cheese was burning so we had to like put some foil where it was drooping anyways uh i wonder if remove card is better than aura reader because it, okay, what cards are we looking for a bias cog would be huge but that's unlikely warm reaper's bodies could be good as far as damage is concerned i think we're gonna have to play a lot of attacks and do darkness and that has to be our damage but that's even that it's not that i mean darkness could do damage but it's not the best i think removing a card just feels better here and we're moving to defense making the deck more lean queen lean cuisine and we manage the status of recycle or something looking for any damage echo form creative eye i mean what are the chances we find those cards from that orrery though I'm willing to roll the dice. Thunder Strike could be interesting. That's the damage right there. So that discharges our damage. That's the damage right here. That's damage. And with Calipers, how often are we going to get this? It might be necessary for the end of the fight. That could be useful. Not upgraded though. That's amazing. I love it. Uh... So, are we doing static thunder strike? <laughs> no way. No way. More compile or thunder strike? Thunder strike could be damage, actually. I mean, I, I'm joking around, but like, I think this is definitely a, a wink on there. Um, uh, Lube is useful so I can play cards. Uh, we have calipers for cards, though. Defect loop is is something but it's also maybe lupus is still okay here even though it's not like perfect i don't have focus but it's still better than nothing right what about second turbo second turbo seems nice right loop for the dark alone could be really useful what about a second turbo this deck to be careful of voids or we just like the fact that turbo gives us really big block i mean if we get static Thunderstrike. The static discharge is only, normally only going to really give me an out, I think. Towards the tail end of the fight with a motion ship, static discharge. And maybe this could be an out at some point. Maybe with Beam Saw, this is the out. With like, towards the tail end of the fight, we have a motion ship, static discharge. I don't know, this feels a little sort of meme, but take hooded from our card draw. Pants pan space here, but it might be useful for next turn. I'm worried. Okay, so... Quit his card draw is fantastic. Do I want to recycle burns, or do I want to keep recycle open for potential energy here? So do I just do turbo? Just to free up hand space? I think so. You do a cast if you don't care about the dark orb here. Or do we want to save two quest for frost maybe? I think the damage doesn't matter here. Not do anything. So we can recycle Sunder. I think recycle is pretty useful for I think Sunder's pretty useful for damage in this fight, but. We wanted to get a lot of block, right? We also can get rid of burns, but... So right now, currently, we have 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is... 56, right? No, sorry, 54. 54. Um, 54 plus... 58. 58 plus 12 is 70. So they're doing... I have 70 block. They're doing 60. I have full block right now, just this. 
just that. I can get rid of. I can get rid of burn. I guess that's fine. No dark orb though. We gotta give dark orb back. Let's gotta re we gotta reinforce body again. So they're looking at 38, 18, 56. This blocks for 45, 45 plus 14 is full block. How much extra blocks do I have? 58. Sorry, 56. And I have 45 plus 14. Okay. I can do Hall of Turbo, I can play more cards. Like maybe, maybe that's important. Like playing more cards is more important here. I'll do this. Jeez. Hmm. Maybe I just got the cards here. I think I got to free my hand up, right? Should I, am I supposed to save? Am I supposed to do recycle here instead? Maybe. Am I supposed to save hologram for reinforced bodies? Is Thunderstrike gonna save us in this fight? I somehow really doubt it. This is scary. Some counters are gonna come in clutch. I like doing beams like here because I can do Sunder there. But maybe. Yeah, I have lethal here actually. Let's see. Static 
Thunderstrike wins the fight for us in the heart. And hope that we get some crazy Electrochella Burrito and also some crazy White Noise. And that's all I can really hope for. Everything else says block. I got the block. We're gonna take a second darkness. My deck got became huge after that Orrery though. My deck's huge. Ah, we have decent card draw though. Second darkness doesn't feel right. Or is it right? Second darkness means I can use it on loop more often. I think, no, I think we're relying on Static Discharge here as our end game damage. He thinks how many powers we have. We have Machine Learning. I want to rely on that as well. No more Machine Learning. Okay, well, we have no block, so I think we just have to do something puzzle and hope for the best. We hold on to Weekend, which is very good. What the f. Okay. Well, there's one thing is for sure. If we end up our hands, we draw a lot of cards. <laughs> Come on. All right. Well, I got I got to play a lot of cards. All right. So empty out my hand feels good because I draw into a lot of cards, right? So that makes even being worse. And I want to play this for weak connection, that's really important. So we're going to draw 8 cards. Uh, motion chip is good here actually, for damage. That's fine. So we're not vulnerable, that's huge. We got weakened, it's even bigger. We got buffer for the big attack if we need it. So we want, this this might be in time to I need static discharge, that would be fantastic. That would have been a good time to get static discharge. Do we get rid of Sunder for this fight? Free pain space? We're gonna play buffer now. And how do we play this fight? We're taking this damage to the face. We have region putt. I save buffer for the next phase. Maybe I just recycle the burn, get it out of the way. I think David doesn't do anything for me though. Because the motion chip only procs once. And I don't have static gestures. But static gestures will be fantastic. That'll be my skilling. Am I gonna die by extra eight? By doing this, am I gonna take too much damage? Do I wanna hold the recycle or getting rid of the burn is pretty proactive here? Because we could do recycle for like. To get rid of cards. I mean, I think getting rid of status just helps my overall game plan here. My bright side dark lords can do some damage, so we're, we're doing alright. Thunder Strike would be fantastic if I have Static Discharge. I want to find a Static Discharge. Ideally, I want to block this as well. Ideally, want to block this. Oh my god. So I think my dream of blocking this is a little bit dead. All our blocks over here, which is not bad, because that means coming up we're going to have a lot of block when we're not frail. So we're not blocking it, so it's going to be a buffer turn, which means I have to do turbo, which means I want to play fission. Fusion, rather. Which means I want to get rid of the void now. And play buffer. Or I could recycle. Recycle worth it? Is recycle better to bring back because I want to? I want to get rid of wounds and stuff. If I get rid of the wounds, we're really good. This is fine. All right. There's active charge. There is. Hey, dark up getting big. Our damage is getting somewhat there, right? We need to free up our hand space. That would be fantastic. That would be absolutely fantastic. I want to draw here, see what I get. I might, I might just play fishing if I see it. Hmm. That gives me some calipers next turn. Problem is... 
What if I don't care about buffer here? Well, buffer could be huge because if I if I can buffer another attack, then that's really nice. But ideally, we're probably good. if if it's multi attack, we're taking the damage, right? Well, I don't know how much damage we could take with multi attack. Now, if it's multi attack, the buffer's not as useful. I can hold stack for a better turn. Um, I can even push damage here, but that seems silly. I guess we do this. Free pain space. I might, just be, I might just go for damage here and do buffer. Seems okay, right? All our blocks next turn. Can you just push your damage now? I want to free up hand space. The reinforced body should be huge for next turn. Maybe we'll probably just take buffer now. And then we have this for damage as well, and then Taylor on the fight we have static discharge with Thunder Strike. Maybe we have enough damage for this fight, I think. We push. We reinforce now and save buffer. But that's bad because hand is more important here. Maybe maybe rebound's fine here. Maybe I can rebound reinforce body, maybe that's fine. I say buffer. Maybe that's fine. Or I could say fuck you buffer and push thunder now for damage. What's up Kai? You think you're Twitch Prime, man? Welcome. Appreciate that compliment as well. If I do Sunder now, I get the damage cap for this turn. Maybe saving buffer is worth it, but is it really the multi attack? Oh, we, might, we probably block the multi attack next turn, actually. If there's a world, if we block the multi attack, we can save buffer for another attack, so that's fine. And there's a world where we could have done damage cap there as well. It's just only 60 block. I always say only 60 block. But it's just blockable. As important as we're doing fission, maybe after the fact. Play turbo first because I want to have hand space. I think hand space is pretty important here. We're doing stack just for damage. Alright, so let's say how much how much how much should I tank here? At this point I can't take anything. I think at this point I'm trying to save buffer for the next multi-attack. I think we're gonna do tanking of damage maybe at another time. Because at, at this point Dark Orb is gonna do some damage as well. I can put dark I can put dark on loop. I think that's pretty good. Put Dark on loop. Can we throw this? I don't think we threw. I don't think we threw. I guess we'll tank some hits here. But I, I think saving buff for the next multi attack seems more makes more sense, no? What if we want double darkness here? I guess we could do static discharge now. I could also do rebound reinforced body and full block. Full block feels fine. If that that dark do damage and then on the on the next multi attack stuff will have weakened potentially, and we'll also have, um, yeah, I think we can, yeah, we gotta go for the last word, we're fine. I like this. gonna get decent damage from Stone Counter. I wanna get Dark on the loop, I think. For that. I also bring back reinforced body or turbo, but I think we can spy nicer here. Um 
If you want to keep playing cards, the playing cards seems pretty important, right? That's that's the only issue here. Playing cards seems pretty important. I think getting dark on loop is pretty nice though. So we're gonna get buffer for the big hit, and we also have we can take the multi-hit next turn. We can take the multi-hit for tons of static discharge, and then we can just start finishing the fight with Thunder Strike with Hollow Thunder Strike as well. I think getting Dark on Lupus feels nice though. I think doing this feels fine. Unless Buffer's not a thing now. Buffer still could be a thing. Buffer's a thing if we push for damage here. Unless we want a full block. Full block again feels like maybe I'm not being proactive enough. So maybe we don't care about Dark as much now as I thought. I mean, how much... I guess technically we can just... The buffer's not gonna be useful next turn. I mean, we could probably block next turn as well. And we're definitely not blocking next turn, that's for sure. So we, we let go of the dark rope then. Dark strikes me a nice clutch towards the end. And dual cast now. I think maybe Sunder is too expensive. Although, a, a decent damage, I think Thunder Strike is better for damage. I wanna get rid of the wound, but maybe... I think maybe Sunder is something I don't care about. Yeah, and then we're gonna get Static Discharge next turn, plus we're gonna have Thunder Strike to finish off the fight. I think we should be good. Unless I'm like under overestimating how much damage I have, I think Static Discharge with this ends the fight. I feel like we're good right now. I can get rid of the wound. Keep Sunder in my hand. That does work. I want to keep the leaps though because I want to be able to block a little bit next turn so I don't take the full thing to the face. Maybe this damage is important at some point. The other alternative is to say, hey, maybe I just recycle Sunder, play my cards, and draw a whole bunch of cards. Like, playing these cards now is more important. So then drawing more cards means I can get closer into Beam Cell and closer into Reinforced Bodies. Which means we, we, we don't we don't use buffer, but I think this is my I think the card draw is more important here. This is only 60 damage. So we plan to face take this whole thing. Uh, how much damage of Static Structure are we doing? So the first hit is gonna get buffered. So, if I just take everything here, do I just win with Static Thunder Strike? Is, is this math time? Is this math time? Yeah. So, if we just do Zap and Turn, does Thunder Strike just win? I want to free my hand space a little bit. But does, does, it, does it even matter? Still want to free up hand space here. Yeah. I like freeing up hand space here. So, on the next turn we win. Pog you. I 
add swag to it. 300 inch. Oh, I'm already fried. It's three hours in and I'm already like, where's my nap? I'm a boomer. Do we not have pod activated? 